We're on a mission to destroy the term manning the grill. If you're gonna spend the time and energy and money to, to bring people together that you care about, then your experience should probably be better than sitting over in the corner while everybody else is having a good time. My name is Stebbin Horn, and my craft is open fire cooking. We're here at my home in Macon, Georgia, actually in the garage, which is the birthplace of the Kudu Grill. Three years ago when I started this company, we were making smoker lids and grills out of pipes and products we were getting from Lowe's. And to see where it's come in just a few short years has been incredible. I was a, a busy attorney. I was, I was doing a lot of things in the community with politics. And when the recession happened in 2008, it was my time to take on a new challenge. About five years ago, I fell in love with a girl in Atlanta, Georgia, but she happened to be from South Africa. And after dating for some time, she decided that she needed to go home and I essentially chased her over there. When I got to South Africa, the first experience I had was with my brother-in-law and he had this old rusted plow disc and I was like, what is this thing? He said, it's the African TV. And I said, what do you mean? And he said, well, you just watch, I'm gonna light it. We're all gonna sit around here and watch it for the next five hours. And we did. The food was magnificent. The, the conversations were magnificent. And that was, you know, really what encouraged me to, to take this leap of faith and, and to start this new business. So what I wanted to create was a company that was bigger than the grill itself. It was something that had inspired me so much was Africa and the African lifestyle. And a kudu is such a symbol of the African fell and it's such a strong animal and I wanted to emulate that. So after we got married in South Africa, we came home and I had a friend that was a plumber and we started putting together kind of our first prototype. We started having people come over and we wouldn't say much to them, we just kind of like start cooking on it. They were fascinated with it. We've got a 20 inch cooking surface for the grill that allows you to cook a ton of food for you know a large crowd if you want to. Then we also offer a 16 inch cast iron skillet. We use nickel plated elevation bars that can handle the heat so that you can raise and lower your cooking surfaces as needed. Once it assembles, it'll take you two minutes to break it down and three minutes to put it back together. There's this incredible wood that they cook over in South Africa and it's acacia wood called camel thorn that we bring in. It offers this amazing flavor and this amazing smell. It's so foreign, you're not used to it. And the nice thing about it is that it cooks in a very subtle way, but imparts incredible flavor on food. One of the things that's really nice about the Kudu is the fact that it's portable, but it's really the versatility that makes it so different than any other product on the market. You can cook multiple dishes all at once, and you can also cook in many different styles. You can use the smoker lid, and you can be smoking an item low and slow while you're searing something in the cast iron skillet. I think that's the thing that the chefs are drawn to this product because it doesn't tell you how you have to cook on it. It's up to you. And then for the novice cook that is just trying to get into outdoor grilling, it's so easy because if it's not cooking fast enough, you lower it a little bit. If it's cooking too fast, you raise it up. I've had customers call me and they said, Seven, I've owned the Kudu for six months and in just that short period of time, I've had more incredible conversations around this grill than all of my other grills combined. They take their kudus and they put them in their car and they take them camping and they take them to tailgate and everyone is around it. They're watching the fire, they're watching the food. You can just do so much with it, but what you get out of it is something totally different than something that I think a lot of Americans are accustomed to. The Stebbin in Law School was thinking about following in my parents' footsteps, kind of what they had etched out in their mind for me. But at the end of the day, there was a different calling for me. As a mantra for our company, we want to help people be present. So we're on that mission and, and we're going to be successful because we've got a lot of great people on our team. We're really excited about what's to come.